Oh yeah, dude, everybody's castle is rough. All right. All according to play. Do I need this alkaline mace? No. Wait, 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 hold on. Plus two to corrosive heavy mace. Wielder to throw an acid bomb three times per day. Acid bomb launches three. Uh. I don't really. I don't really want someone throwing bombs like acid bombs near the party. That does not sound like a good time. All right. All right, let's do this. Dude, if there's a bald hilltop eight, I don't know how I'm gonna feel about that. <laughs> I do not know how I'm gonna feel about that. They're saying this is supposed to be the one where I can go through and attack back. Okay. I'm gonna start this with the basic buffs. Hope that's enough. And we'll cheese it with uh, area spells. Oh my god, don't tell me that. Do not tell me that. I don't want to wait another 275 days when I have nothing to do. Literally nothing to do. Anything is possible. Okay. I mean, I guess I can rearrange my kingdom to push more espionage and divine out. Okay. I don't know, dude. This game, it would do it. They would do it in this game. All right, so those are my two favorite spells. Wait, 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 wait. I'm only selected Lindsay. Let's try this again. Go ahead. Let's precast this. Okay. Oh, damn it, they're Wild Hunt again. That's the worst. Ah, oh. okay. Whoever took the over on how many times is it gonna take me? Congratulations. Oh, look who's already frozen in place. Oh, cool, he's frozen in place too. Mm, I don't want to waste AoE heals. It says will save, but I'm not seeing the will save here. Okay. Oh, Lindsay's frozen. Okay, so pretty much the standard crowd paralyzed. Oh my god, what are these? Quickly. Oh, sweet. Okay. This will hurt. One. Shit. Where do you go back? Should 
drink this. Let's eat. Let's drop a pet right here. Try to hurry up and cast this and run like hell. Okay. Let's see if you can get this guy off of you. There we go. Oh, that's... That's lovely. Okay. How's my party doing? Looks okay. Drink. Go ahead and cast AoE heal. Don't need a big one, just a good one. Actually, no. I do want that pet out. Okay, it's got immunity to pretty much everything it looks like. Which is good. That should be fun. I can't hold it. Uh, try to confuse it. Triss, I need you to heal the party. Uh, nothing that big. This is fine. Oh, did it fall? It fell. Awesome. Okay. No. Why did- have I lost control of Valerie? She's confused. Okay, we've lost our tank. Uh... First things first. Try not to let her die to that. Actually, no. Come here. Okay. Alright, I don't know why you ran back in. Really unfortunate that Amory ran back in, because now they're both in there and on the ground. Okay. <laughs> yeah, confuse the tank. Tank ran in. Does this get rid of confusion? Crushing despair, uh, mind altering effects such as. Yes! Yes, okay. Pull her out of her confusion. Okay. Now, both of you, get the hell out of there. Oh. That's a summon thing. I don't care about him. Okay. Stop throwing those. Start throwing these. You guys start... Actually, you'll start healing. Doing this, because once they start, if they stop drinking, I want to make sure they don't run into the battle. Okay. That's good. That's good. Start spam healing her. Okay, I'm just gonna say it now. That spell is so broken. The Sirocco spell. The fact that I'm sitting here, just like with my ranged characters, spamming at him and he can't get up, it's pretty insane. All right. Oh, she stopped playing her song because she got frozen. Let's actually do an AoE heal. All right. I do need it to run out of that though, at some point. Or, or, even better, let's give my... Okay. Oh, no, 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 those are two spells together. 
I don't want to do that. Once one of those spells dissipates, I'll send in my tanks. Or my melee. But until then... Until then, we're just going to do this. Yeah, I've actually done that, but like... Ooh, there we go. He's moving. Hold on. Go. They hit him one time. Oh, does it do 300 damage? Well, he didn't get a chance. Oh yeah, he's definitely dead. Did I cheese it with AoE spells? I don't know. <laughs> Dude, between... Between Polar Midnight... I said that the blessing of Ceregray will light up her soul. And she seemed uh, disappointed. That Susio spell. Something bothering you? Okay, so Polar Midnight. All creatures in the air take 5d6 points of cold damage, 1d6 points of dexterity damage per round. A successful fortitude saves each round negates the dexterity damage, but not the cold damage. So they're losing dexterity while All sitting has come. in Sirocco, which is or Sorak, I don't know how to say that, Sorako, but uh, Blast Furnace, Hot Wind, Blast Downwards, inflicting 46 fire damage, one point per caster level. Um, a successful Fortitude save halves the fire damage and negates being knocked down. But like, they're losing the ability to do that while being knocked down. And they can't get out because they're knocked down. It is... A really evil combo. And that doesn't even like account for my three melee who just hammer on the damage. Okay, the portal to the first world was destroyed. It will probably never operate again. What? I thought we were supposed to be using the portal. Were we supposed to jump in there? Oh man. Okay. Well, I'm glad that was some action. Back to kingdom management. Uh, we probably just have to wait a couple days before the next thing happens. Yeah, that's the thing. If I had, um, if I was using that hunter or ranger class guy, he would. That'd be stupid. Because entangled. Well, the thing is, is, like, I don't even need him because if, if I feel like they're moving too fast, even with like polar, in Sirocco or. I don't know what that is. I keep saying Sirocco because it sounds like a move we do in Judo. But um, if I feel like they're moving too fast, I'll just do Volcano for that area. And it then they're slowed having to run through that. So they're going to have to roll Fortitude more times to get out of either of those two things. Yeah. Follow my it's just kind of ridiculous. Like those spells the problem is is having like the main main problem with them as overpowered as they are is keeping um like what i was doing trying to keep your melee out of that area because they want to go in there and they will run in there and they'll kill themselves on it magical portal beast I need you to come back from this so you can do the magical portal beast thing. Oh, you can do it tomorrow. Oh, the fog is back. Awesome. Good to see it. Good to see it. Alright, cool. So 
this is done. Oh, I didn't say the fog. There's no fog. I'm guessing it's Portal Beast. Oh, no, no. It is the fog. Amory's working on it. So I guess we just kind of wait. Okay. Sucks that it failed, but could be worse. I really blew it with the advisors. For my next playthrough, I'll definitely know how to handle the advisors. Okay. Lindsay, your comrades and advisors are gathered around the throne in breathless silence. Lindsay is the first to dare speak. I guess I guess that it's about time my book reached its culmination or its finale. Messenger ah, can't speak. Messengers have arrived from well, all over the kingdom really. The bloom has started everywhere. Monsters have appeared in every forest, behind every corner, in every nook and cranny. What we went through before was like a, a bed of roses compared to this. If we don't do something, the kingdom will simply collapse. We learned a lot of Nerissa while traveling through her dreams. I think she's almost done gathering grains of dust for her damn cup. Pitox has fallen, and your kingdom is the last thing standing in the way of her apology. She's done waiting. We need to do something, and fast. I think, I think we need to head out on the most heroic campaign yet. We talked it over, and it seems like... Our best chance to reach Nerissa is through the Thousand Voices on the western border of Pitox. It's been completely overtaken by the Bloom, and it seems to be the place where the First World is currently the closest to ours. Knock knock. Lindsay, again with her big bag of words, and as helpful as ever, I know what to do. Go kick that green witch's ass. Bam, she's gone, and we're heroes. I see, that seems like the logic I'm going to use. Evandra, it's time for of great rogue, but of great hope as well. The path to the first world is open. This is your chance to reach my fallen sister and settle your dispute over the stolen land once and for all. Ikundeo. Trouble at the gate of peaceful villages. I hear the cries of children, prayers for help, as though they were right here. No, next time it's going to be the 100, like, I'm going to make a party of five clerics. In the early game and then use Arab to be my sixth cleric that'll be my main party then I'll just cycle people in as I do their side quests I really I want to do a cleric army I just think that sounds like so much fun okay so the end times are near my heart rejoices what do we know of thousand voices and what awaits us there I've helped Nerissa move between planes and portals long enough to assume there must be a door in the Thousand Voices that leads to her own domestic in the First World. That's a word I don't know. Avindra, many beasts serve Nerissa, and you would be hard-pressed to find more dangerous ones. She has even created some semblance of one of the Tain, the eldest chained beasts. You must prepare to meet all these monsters along your way either in the Thousand Voices or in the First World, should we make it there. One thing is clear, it won't be easy, not for us or for the Kingdom. I, I hope something's left to celebrate our heroic return. Lindsay hides a sniffle by pretending to rub her nose. Will you travel with us, Evindra? Evindra? Nera closes her eyes and uh, sighs softly. Yes, of course. My duty is now to fight the evil that has enslaved Nerissa, but I will not be traveling in the typical way with you. You are aware that the creatures of the first will return to life in their homeland if they die somewhere. The bloom is especially strong, yes. I'll find such a place, end my life there, thus returning the first world. I will meet you there. This way, I'll be able to by bypass the portal guards, learn more of Nerissa's plans, make preparations. Death is not a pleasant prospect, and it will take much of my strength, but it would give us a significant advantage. Take care, and wish me luck. Can I just kill you? Nurses has tormented my kingdom and all of the stolen land for too long. It's our turn now. 
There says an interesting foe. Powerful, beautiful, and underburdened. And unburdened by boring principles or morals. I can't wait to wade through her blooming meadows with a scythe. Valeria, as a ruler, duty is to end their kingdom's affliction, and our duty is to follow you, Digas. Yes, this green creeps hunted us for too long. Time to trade places. Jublas, seems we have promising expectations in the depths of the first world ahead of us. If in the course of our research we render a dozen monsters and one particular annoying nymph to com compost, all the better. Tristan, the time has come to end the thousand year reign of evil over the stone lands, and I as much as anyone wish to help and hopefully help repay my debts in the process. Let's see. We'll be fine. We'll return and throw a huge feast, and we'll celebrate for a whole month, and then another month, and then an, on the next month. We'll just do nothing but rest. I'll finish my book, and they'll read it all across Galorian. And, and Lindsay gestures vaguely. I don't know what then, but it, it'll be even better. Okay. So, if I didn't get the hint, I think this is endgame. <laughs> The one who had been pulling the strings to create and destroy kingdoms for ages now. Oh man. All according to plan. <laughs> Bald Hilltop number thirty. Dude, in the time that I've played this game, I probably could have finished like five like other games I usually well not usually play like five other games I've got a bunch of VR games that I haven't started like a bunch of indie games <laughs> it's gonna be really weird the next game I play and like 30 hours in I'm like I'm done what not necessarily a bad thing I mean cause like even even the time that I just spent like what I'm about an hour 31 into this stream. Um, my other stream shut down when I was six hours in. I mean, so it was about like four hours of like kingdom management time that I think they could have cut out. But other than that, I mean, it's been a lot of action oriented time. All right, how much food do I have? <laughs> 18, I'm gonna grab couple more just in case I need to rest a lot. I don't want to be stuck in the dungeon with no way to rest. Also, I'm not going to use him to be the guy that I sell to. I'm going to use the other chick. I really regret having him be the guy. In due time. Yeah, that's very true. It is drop a bucket. Hey, thanks, Sig Nickel, for the follow. I appreciate it. As it should be. Yeah, I've got a lot of money now. I feel comfortable. Are you sure that seven hundred thousand is not going to be enough? That is not far. I feel like that's a pretty appreciable amount. I'll take your advice though. In due time. I don't know. I this is my first time ending this game. So I'm hoping. I mean 370 for the ring. Well, and it all depends on what kind of armor. So if it's 370 for the ring, I should probably expect to spend twice that, right? At least. If this is a vendor situation. Alright. Um. I find it interesting too that a lot of stuff becomes de identified in my inventory after a period of time.
There's some stuff that I can't let go though. Oh, that's crazy. I don't know. I just want it in my inventory. <laughs> You're literally talking to a guy that buys slots for every weapon in Warframe. Why? I don't know. I just do it. Kind of like my trophies. Authority, I want to keep, don't need that. Don't need that. That's cool. That's not really good. No, it was really good. It's Aikman's bow, I can't get rid of that. No one can use that. I don't want to keep the robes. Get rid of this one. Dude, seriously, someone quiet that dog now. Let's get rid of this too, because we didn't find the last two. I only completed one whole set. I'm very sad. Oh yeah, I should probably sell those too. <laughs> you mean all the scrolls that I carry around that I was going to use at some point? You're telling me that I'm not going to use those now? <laughs> yeah, I think it's more of a collection thing than me caring about what the sets do. I don't know, man. At any time, I could start using those scrolls that I keep telling myself that I'm going to use, but I've never used. Any time now. Why did I keep this ring? No, no. I don't need that. Need those, for sure. No, 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 they can benefit from potions too, right? Potions stack. I thought potions... No, 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 potions don't stack. Potions stack if it went to AC or... Never mind. Hold on. Disregard what I said. What I was trying to say and what I actually said. Okay, well, I'm not going to use any of those heroes because I have better. I'm not using mage armor because I have better spell. Don't need that. I still kind of want those. Don't need that. Maybe. Don't need that. 
that. This is remove bind this. I want that. Curses, definitely want that. Restoration lesser, shield of faith, don't need these anymore. Want that. Displacement, displacement seven, yep. It should be together. Okay. Deuce person, no. Don't need that. I don't know why I even have those. Bark skin I want to keep. There's some people that can still benefit from, from that. Never using this. Could use that, don't need that. I hate this spell. these because I'm not taking the undead chick. Too weak. Too weak. Uh, no point. I don't cast it with the main casters. I don't know why I'd cast it again. I want to keep that one. That I definitely want to keep. Don't need this. Roll a polymorph. Throw protections from alignments. Actually, hold up. I do want to keep this. Keep that one. Don't need that. Definitely don't need that now. Okay. Um, no, because if Triss goes down, I'm just gonna auto load. In due time. Or not auto load, just reload. At that point, it, it's going to be a wipe. Oops, that's not what I want to do. Okay.
Wait, where are we supposed to go in Thousand Voices? Or I just jump to a place. Alright, we're going to the Castle of Knives. Back to the Castle of Knives. Okay, I think this is my closest location. Away we go. I figure we're gonna camp at least once before. Whoa, when did you get damaged to dexterity? When did that come? Yo, you we can't just have a moment of pop respite. random things up at the end of the game. Like we're in Endgame. I've already walked by there. How do they do that? All right, what do we find? Oh, goblins. This, because if there's a vendor, I can sell it. That is not far. What troubles you? I'll weigh myself down though. As it okay. should be. Share your so topic. before we go anywhere. would be welcome all right let's do this first rest nice love to see all the rations being saved probably should have cooked an actual meal though don't even know how to get there Be dealt by validity natural and manufacturing weapons stack with itself. In addition to bleeding, it doesn't stop when the battle ends. What? So I need to I'm listening. I'm using a magical healing effect a successful It's a curse.
Wow, he rolled a one. Just letting the ink dry. Right here, my friend. Jesus Christ. Anything is possible. I don't want to hear it. <laughs> well, I do have the ring, but he's not wearing it. The other good dude is. Adventures call to them. That's probably why he doesn't have a cut. According to plan. All right, I'm guessing the portal's gonna be here. Yeah, well, you guess over. <laughs> you can definitely see the portal. All right. Let's follow the group. Watch that AI struggle to get them to where they need to go. I mean, would that have been faster? Yes. Do I have an excuse why I'm doing this? Not a good one. I don't know, I just never like used Dimensional Door as something like that. I always use it as an escape spell. This will oh shit. Well, okay, this is a good order that they're coming in. Horn Hunter, the darkness visible behind the slit and the creature's helm is pitch black, but you still feel its gaze upon you. Unwavering, probing a uh, little king from Sandcastle. How fair is your kingdom? Is there anything left for me? Uh... Okay, so who are you first? You may call me the Horn Hunter at any ruler's court there's a place for the likes of me you do love hunting don't you but i suppose here in the mortal world you hunt elk or bear or game i hound i hound more impressive beasts for my lady ancient monsters aliens from the outer realms and self-proclaimed kings who would think to challenge us who is your lady what you came all this way without knowing whom you would be facing the self-confident immortals i always i was looking for another attacking option but whatever uh, always amazed me as though you think uh, as it's as though you think you not i shall re revive in the first world should i trouble should trouble arise i serve my lady narissa the lady of a thousand breasts and you are in the threshold of her demes -ne. demes -ne? i don't know what the okay um so if I kill him, he's going to go through the first world. So I'm going to try this neutral good. I need to get through the portal, but I have no desire to kill you. Perhaps we can reach an arrangement. Arrangement with me, the Horn Hunter shrugs. I wasn't going to fight you anyways. After all, I'm not the guard of this portal. It's for the actual guard. Well, I don't think it will be interesting in making an arrangement with you. Or he's interested. You hear it before you see it. A hoarse, wavering rumble can be heard from all around you. Sound itself moves as though it's alive, washing over you and rolling back, boring into your ears and echoing into the depths of your conscious. And then... It's a lesser jabber walk. Okay. You three get back here ASAP. There's two. Good lord. Okay. So Lindsay, cast. Will saves all around. Ah, oh, except for you. That's okay. Open. 
Excellent. Move on to the next one. Dude, the mix of my front line and my back line is just so good. Well, it feels that way. I shouldn't get too excited. Let's not get too excited. This game could still roll me later. And we will take this time to skin these giant dragons. Why not? Well, I guess she doesn't need to use cleave in this fight. But why not? Because like, follow my. Oh, she doesn't. Right, but the thing is, is like if you're facing a crowd, she usually doesn't get a second. But the thing is, is like, when Emery hits, and it wasn't good for that battle. But like, if we're in a battle with smaller people, when she hits, she usually doesn't get a second or third hit because she usually kills off the first hit. That's kind of been a problem with her lately. So the cleave was to make sure that she could still do more damage even as the thing died. <clears throat> okay, the portal before we used gleaming mysteriously. It didn't look at all like the one we saw in the womb of Lamashtu, but there was no doubt. This was the way of the first world. We barely made it out with our skin in the previous time, and not without the help of the mysterious old gnome. What would await us this time? Would we ever see the light of our own world again? Would we ever return to our cozy homes and a happy smile of our friends? Or would we find ourselves uh, bought, brought to ruins to reduce, or reduced to bones without wasting any time on darkness such as these? The king quickly stepped into the portal. The king turned and looked back one last time, almost as if saying farewell to his domain and then rushed forward. Without fear, we had barely crossed the threshold before an invisible magic took us our sense of direction from us up and down, forward and back. These last meetings as the portal we stepped through became a hole we were falling into. Each of us reached for the one they most feared to lose or the one they most wanted to hold on to. But no matter how tightly we clung, the mysterious force tore us from each other, hiding us among clouds of magical fog. Oh, hiding us among clouds of magical fog that swirled around us as it carried us along, all the while leaving us utterly alone until a light finally glimmered ahead. Oh no, I failed that quest. Feet, Nerissa. Welcome to my Robin. Greetings from the house of the Edge of Time and its mistress. You are very beautiful. I know you like stories. I have thousands of them. The kind no one else in the whole world can tell you. Be my guest, little Robin. I won't hurt you. Don't do it, Lindsay. Don't you do it. I will, maybe just for a little bit, I'd like to hear your own story, to learn firsthand and put it to paper. A book such as the world surely, a book such as that would surely be only one in the world. Oh my god, Lindsay. You are the worst. Well, there goes my bard. The Nera seems to be paler than usual, but her blue eyes glow with resolution. I was so afraid you might not get here, but you made it. Although getting here is just a small part of what must be done to survive and win. Nerissa knows that you are here. It was she who made you leave the portal last. She has taken your companions and not... 
only them, but everyone she thought was connected to you. Those she could reach. Nerissa has a peculiar sense of justice, if you can call it that. You've taken so many toys from her, her Skylark, me, Armog, Urvati, and now she has taken your toys. Uh, what is this place? It is called the House uh, at the Edge of Time. It's Nerissa's place of power, her citadel in the first world. It is frozen in time and scattered through time. There are rooms of eternal tomorrow and rooms where something that happened long ago still lingers. If a random guest took a bite from an apple and left it here a thousand years ago, it would remain unaltered to this day. I know it's difficult to understand for a mortal, even among us, the children of the first world, only Shaika and the eldest of time can fully comprehend these mysteries. My head is spinning from all your fade dealings. Can you explain again what's going on and what it all means? Of course, ages ago, the eldest named Lantern King cursed Nerissa and her closest nymph friends. He stripped them of their immortality and turned their souls to evil. Only I managed to avoid the curse against all odds. Okay, so is this a summation that I just accidentally cued? Part of Nerissa's soul, the part that was filled with her goods and light, was taken out and turned into an artifact called Briar. The eldest hid it in the Stolen Lands. Nerissa's servants tried to find it, but to no avail. Only the gnome Tertuccio made managed to get, do it, but you must know more about it, that than I do. The curse required that Nerissa destroy a thousand kingdoms. Each time a kingdom was ruined, a grain of dust fell into a cup called the Apology. Now that there are 999 of them, the number of kingdoms has fallen to ruin in the Stolen Land. Your kingdom must be the thousandth. If it falls, Nerissa will be able to go to the Eldest and ask for forgiveness for her transgression. Please do not let this happen. The Eldest are cruel gods in my world, and they must not triumph. I saw Lindsay talking to Nerissa in the yard. What was it? A, a vision or an illusion? A memory. The house showed you what happened here in recent past. How do I get inside? There's a well here. Magical, just like everything else. It will allow you to be, get inside the house, get used to it. Here in the first world, things can have very unexpected uses. Be careful. Nerissa will know your every step inside, and she will do her best not to let you leave. You, Your kingdom is the last grain of dust for the apology. There is no way back for her. Or for you. Where's Nerissa? Everywhere and nowhere. This is her domain. Here she may hide in any shadow and turn any shadow into a weapon. Nerissa does not prefer open confrontation. She will try to defeat you through her servants, and she won't appear until the end. I suppose, though, that there is one place that is especially important to her. It's a room in the heart of the house, on the second floor. The shrine where her cup, the apology, is kept. If you reach that place, Nerissa will appear. She would have no choice. I have to go. Before you continue, remember two things. First, the house is full of phantoms, living memories of what happened. You can see them, but you cannot change the past. Second, the house lives not only in multiple times, but in two states. I would call them reality and irreality. Although each is real in its way, danger dangerous in its way, and each has its own secret. But one is the first world as it is, the other the world of Nerissa's thoughts and dreams. Okay. I already have a magical lantern. Thorcerous mist you see here exists in both reality and reality. It was created by Nerissa to guard her domain from invasion. It will hurl you between reality and irreality and all about, preventing you from reaching the heart of the house and the other secret nooks. But I've brought something that will help you take this lantern, light it and hold it high, and the mist will have no power over you. But if you need to step from reality to irreality or back, then hide the lantern and let the mist carry you. And last piece of advice, an artifact of great power and sor sorrow, Briar, is hidden somewhere in the house. Find it and use it wisely. I know what to do. Okay. That is not far. We have to go through the well. In due time. How did I fail in Ancient Curse Part Seven? I did the mountain thingy. What's up, Esua? I I don't that I failed this. 
Oh, I didn't wait for the news to arrive. Dumb. We were gathered around a table. Like, I figured that was it. All according to plan. Please, yep. Oh, dude, we're overloaded because it's just the two of us. Boo. Um. Oh, this will be really cool with a custom party of like four. What's up, Gnarly Witch? Gnarly Witch. Even groveling and terrifying creature towers over you. Its dark claws glisten like metal, but the pose doesn't seem threatening. It is more reminiscent of a ruffled bird than a wild animal ready to pounce. So does you, my little guest. The crone probably frightened you there, near the castle of the knives. I didn't mean to. It's all because of the wriggling man. Damn him. He keeps sending out just rupters and thieves to me. I turn around and they're standing behind me. I stand up from my bench and they climb under it. Forgive an old crone for her her, her uh, suspicious nature. My life isn't easy, it isn't. By the way, in case you don't know yet, they called me the Nerly Witch. I know you fooled my servants to take the fragment of the first crown, foolish timber. But then again, if I wanted smart servants, I wouldn't have chosen walking logs. Marissa took my companions. Do you know where they are? Uh, my lady hasn't shared the prisoners with me for a long time. I would know if they were in my dungeon, and they are not. Look higher. Farther, the house of the at the edge of time is larger than you know, full of secrets and nooks and riddles. Uh, you don't look like a dweller of the first world. Who are you? The witch shakes her he huge head. A lonely old hag. For hundreds of years, I lived with my two sisters in the place you call the Stone Lands. We got her to magical forest, sheltered, trance shambling mounds ogres and other wondrous cre creatures they praised my sister and me calling us the truin queen it was a fine life but then our forest fell under lady nerissa's gaze and she reduced it to dust and made me her servant upon pain of death i couldn't even think of resisting her you must not be very happy with your service to nerissa i obey the one who is strongest if i were five ages younger i could try to rebel but it's too late for me Poor old witch makes a potion as she's told, looks after the house, takes jokes from the pile of ore, and is good for nothing else. Reception check, you don't look like Nerissa's poor prisoner. The witch is approaching. You think I'm lying to you, little guest? But you can't know for sure. Will you let your doubt affect your decision? An amusing story, let me ask you something else. Hmm. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it looks like there's no going back after this, right? Uh, I want to ask you about for, uh, the feud with the Wrigley Man and the first crown. Well, I'll ask away, why do you need the first crown? Uh, old rot like me is enjoy us talking to someone young and curious. Yep. Uh, if you live long as I have in the first world, the facey outside as curious animals, even if you can break their neck in one swoop, Nerissa gave me the crown as a mark of distinction. The Fae saw that their queen value me, and now they show me respect. But if they decided that I've lost Nerissa's favor, they'll laugh at me and make jokes as they do. The Riggle Awful knew all this. It's why he's always wanted to take the crown. Okay, you should just explain why she's enemies with the Riggle Man. What kind of creature is he? Uh, ugly creature. Believe me. He appears as disgusting to a creature like me as he does to creatures like you. Sometimes a soul doesn't want to leave the world after death it clings to its rotten body and finally lets corpse worms consume it piece by piece yes yes soul divided into a thousand fragment each living inside a worm i have other questions how do i friend trissa tell me and i won't attack you a ah, little guest you want the old wish to betray your queen you have no idea what threats she uses to make me serve her it's been many ages and i have never dared to raise my hand my head the witch ruffles her coarse hair with huge claws, palm, and mumbles. But a hag like me can't live here. Nurse has got new favorites and made me live in the dungeon. She's hardly noticed me. If I helped my little guest a little, it wouldn't be unfair, would it? The regal man wanted to kill me first. I will tell you. 
There's a special place on the top floor, nurse's shrine. It's the heart of the house. Her bitter treasure is stored there, which she can never let you have. The door to the shrine opens with three keys. One is stored with the Wriggle Man, one with me, and the third is hidden somewhere in the house. I say you kill the horrid Wriggle wretch and take his key, then I'll give you mine after. And then we'll see whether you kill Nerissa or she kills you. It will have helped me either way. Uh, Alright, it's a deal. Wonderful, wonderful. The Wriggle Awful is hiding somewhere on the top floor. Come back to me when you've killed him. The old witch will help you any way she can. Do you wish to ask me something else? I have to go farewell. Come again. We'll guess the hag enjoys a visit. What is this? The Book of New Beginnings. The book pages are empty, but upon opening it, you see the clear sunny day when you walk the pavement of the capital the first time. Your Kesson showing you the way to citizens greeting you politely. There is filled with expectation and hope. Hundreds of people have come in search of a new home, a new fate. A future, and however vague and uncertain the future might be, at this moment, there's joy in their hearts. And it's worth 500 bucks. Okay. I will take it. I don't care about the magic shit. I mean, it's worth a lot. Boy, it'd be really nice to have one of our characters that have strength with us. How much weight do I need to drop? 140 pounds. Oh, I could do it with the rations really easy. Then I wouldn't have the rations. In due time. That is not far. I guess we got to. I will see this through. Hopefully, it's only a couple of them. This hallway. Let's try this way. Defeat is not an option. Awesome. So it turned out to be quite a few. So there's only one thing to do now. I always did what was right, therefore I became righteous. Does it mean whatever I do now becomes right because I stand with me? Whoa, did that spell not go off? That's unfortunate. 